Right, you're still here on News File. Uh, we are coming to you live from the Joy 99.7 FM studios in Kokomlemle here in Accra. Now, some of your messages. Uh, this one uh, from Mark in Tema. He says, does this government respect court orders at all? Then, uh, I'll, I also have, uh, what's the name? Onia Simon. He says, the problem with government is that they do not honor their promises. You will be surprised to hear that workers who retired in 2020 2010, when single spine became effective, have not been paid. That's not exactly clear for me. Have not been paid what? Their retirement or the single spine? Um, then uh, this one from um, Amev Amevo Koku in Amamfrom. He says, why, why, why do Africans compare ourselves to Europeans? What is it that we are not seeing? We are a failure. Chile is not a good example at all. Dr. White, why did it take four years and only after the strike for government to start acting? It seems that the only language this government understands is strike. This is coming from Jani and also uh, from Professor Kweku Asari in the USA. Uh, I can't see that text message, uh, just seeing only his name on. Right. He says, the so-called tier two contributions should not be a mystery. The contributions are related to tier one contributions and so are discoverable. For every uh, 13, uh, what's that? Okay. For every 13.5 contributed to the tier one funds, five, five Ghana must be contributed to the tier two funds that is 2.7 to 1 ratio alternatively the tier two contributions are 37 percent uh, of the tier one contributions according to the audited financial statements of SNIT, total tier one contributions for 2012 is 1.26 billion it follows that 2012 tier 2 total contributions were 465 million 48 point uh, 48 million okay then in 2011 tier 1 total contribution was 1.04 billion by the same process tier 2 contributions can be computed as 386.99 million from the above 2011 and 2012 tier 2 contributions were Ghana cities uh, 852.48 million, which is 37% of the 2.3 billion Ghana cities of the tier 1 contributions for the same years. Same process can be used for every applicable year. That's a long one. Mm -hmm. Right, that excludes the investment. And of course, uh, Lord uh, Senanu has explained that, yes, mm -hmm. that uh, because, of the, because of the work that um, Pricewaters is doing, we should shortly get to know uh, and have the full picture. And this show is brought to you by Bank of Africa, is your best partner. They are the bank that is as strong as a group and as close as a partner. Now, the Bank of Africa has the unique banking experience that you will need without any stress or any hassle. That's the bank with products that are tailored to satisfy your corporate and personal banking needs. Just call them 0244338226 and discover a product that suits your lifestyle. Bank of Africa, strong as a group, and close as a partner. Now discover your music talent with MTN Fame Express and browse from a list of local artists from gospel, hip life, high life, and love songs to reggae songs of your choice. Audition your way to stardom and share your best performance with your friends and buddies. You should, uh, you could be a, pr a proud recipient of a surprise package from MTN Mobile Money. You can submit as many audition songs as you want and create your own album. So go on, call 1551 now and Keke with MTN Fame Express and say welcome to the new world. MTN, everywhere you go. Thank you very much. And as I say always, 
don't forget that Tane Ghana uh, has opened its doors to you and Tane Ghana, they are the group that are setting the standards when it comes to the best, solid, sleek and sexy, um, talking about the most alluring, latest, classy and luxury Jeeps, alluring, Chrysler's and the most durable Dodge uh, Durango and Dodge Ram. Their new Chrysler 300C offers you a royal ride home and has fuel consumption which is lowest in its class. The 8-speed automatic eco-diesel Grand Cherokee is another first in Ghana and is simply amazing. It's got an array of sexy Jeep Compass, Rugged Wrangler and the incredible SRT uh, for just your taste. While the Dodge Ram pickup workhorse ever made will provide reliability and comfort so call tani ghana today on 0501-338-072 that is 0501-338-072 for a test drive thank you very much you're still here on Joy 99.7 FM, we are live on Love FM in Kumasi and over a dozen affiliate stations across the country. You are watching, you are listening to us uh, also at myjoyonline.com. Thank you very much. Uh, we are not on TV. I almost said that uh, you're watching on your Joy News channel on Multi TV. And so, uh, unfortunately, our listeners in um, uh, Europe and uh, London have been cut off the TV channel. So you can only listen via radio. Thank you very much. Of course, when the show is over, uh, TV will also put it out because it's being recorded as well. Thank you very much. Now, gentlemen, let's move to this other very important issue. Um, Two years ago, President Mills, uh, God bless his soul, he set up the Soul Commission for Judgment Debt. Their job was to... Um, uh, no, it was the President Mahama who, uh, what do you call it, uh, swore them in correctly. But the process all began with President Mills' um, call for investigations into how certain judgment debts had been paid. And we remember how, uh, is it Ioko? did its investigations and submitted an interim report. We have still not seen the final report. And in that report, the president was, uh, they sought to exonerate the president from any involvement in that colossal, inordinate, some say mundane and bizarre judgment debt that was paid to Alfred Agbesi uh, Woyome. That is what has led to this commission, which was set up two years ago by President John Mahama. Um, now they are wrapping up, they are finishing their work, and we want to ask a few questions. Uh, interestingly, all the things that have gone on, what caught your attention the most, and what are your expectations as it gets ready to bring forward its recommendations? Uh, now, I'll start with Abdul Malik. Well, in principle, and this is no news, mm. I've always backed the institution of uh, that commission. I thought it would be a very useful exercise. Mm. Uh, so we look at its proceedings to find out if there's any vindication. <laughs> I think the proceedings also generally quite creditable. There were low points here and there. I had my own reservations and I said so publicly uh, on one or two issues how I thought the commissioner or the commission went about uh, the processes. Mm. But that didn't take away my principled uh, support or endorsement of that whole project. And I still stand by it. And I think it was a very useful exercise. Uh, there were cases that were high profile, some low. But what came out for me clearly, and it's because we don't have the findings and recommendations, uh, we are all restricted. restricted. Because that would be where I think the ultimate vindication will be. Mm but we will await the findings and recommendations. But looking at the proceedings, uh, some of the high profile cases and those things that came up showed a certain, that this whole thing was a systemic thing, you know, with the historical trajectory going back to the 60s up to today. But the institutions of state that I think were highlighted, that came to the fore, has been very principal perpetrators in this whole phenomenon and i think the chairman did not hide the commissioner did not hide his feelings mm. really that's to the ag's department right it's a key area 
And if you did the critical analysis. He sought to say over the period that they've been lousy in a lot of the things that they do. It was just too much. It was known. But the proceedings gave us a better and deeper insight because we got a more comprehensive, you know, uh, uh, view of it. And the fact that was deep rooted. But just not the AG. The, but the AG's partner, I think, is the core, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. You because the questions of judgment debts end with them. Yes. Often, when people sue, they are the ones supposed to go and defend the government. Yes. And then when settlements have to be done, they are settled at the yes. end. Yes, so that's the core area. But then also, the Minister of Finance and his legal directorate also comes up, if you look at it carefully, the Director of Legal Affairs and the Finance Ministry itself, the Controller and Accountant General's Department, even though they are on the lower scale because sometimes they are just they just work on instruction they are so for me that is where i'm looking at apart from the fact that we may have cases where in personal liabilities individual liabilities may be cited and then we may have to cure those things with the law i'm looking more at the institutional re-engineering that may arise mm. from the findings and recommendations i think that's where the emphasis should be in the long term as far as the national interest is concerned mm. i would suggest that because we don't have the findings and recommendations uh, i would rest my case here unless you want us to look at specific cases but i don't think that will serve any useful purpose at this stage right some yeah. of the issues we have traversed already sure. and like you say yeah. when we have the reports ready then we will interrogate it further yeah. now um felix i mean the, the, those, uh, the, the commissioner himself has been very concerned about what he, he says are false claims that some people come to the place to put up um, or false claims that led to the payments. And now some of them, obviously, we cannot go back and take the monies. But the principle was not to seek to take the monies, correct? Well, I, when the judgment that debate first ensued, late 2010, early 2011, it was brought down in partisanship. There were accusations and counter accusations. And depending on where you stood on the <coughs> political divide, you waded into the debate with a view of scoring a political point here or there. But it became apparent in due course that the issues were much deeper than just hurling accusations at political opponents. Therefore, there was a need to establish a system, a framework within which we could delve into the matter and unearth exactly what the difficulty is with a view to correcting whatever will lapses or deficiencies that may come up. And I think to that extent, that objective has by and large been achieved, even though the report is still outstanding. By just monitoring the process and following proceedings, it was apparent that there was something seriously wrong somewhere. That for me is the beauty of this whole commission. President Mama pledged when he set up the commission that he was going to abide by their report and, re and implement their recommendations to the letter. Uh, we have adopted a systems and process approach towards addressing these things. It is no use lamenting corruption. There may have been instances where things were not done properly. But going forward, there is a determination to correct that. You could not have done that on the spur of the moment or simply relying on claims that are made in the media. It was important to have a foundation, a basis upon which we could build. Uh, there were controversial periods. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the drillship matter right. certainly came up strongly. I, mm -hmm. I waded into that debate, uh, especially because of the rendition, the first initial rendition uh, given by Mr. Kitty, you know, but it generated a lot of discussion and all that. But all in, uh, uh, in, in a nutshell, I would say that it has been a very useful process and government looks forward to the reports uh, with a view to putting in the necessary mechanisms and checks mm. to ensure that this does not happen again in our history. Very interesting. Now, uh, Dr. Monko, there are those who suggest that, like uh, Felix began by saying, mm -hmm. that initially it was a political football, so to speak. Yeah. People uh, came in to speak with their, with their, with their interests, vested interests. They want to sp mm -hmm. score political points. Mm -hmm. But at a the point, they seem to have stopped. And some say they stopped because each of the political divide, they, they are guilty mm -hmm. in how judgment debts came about you know, in each of the regimes. Mm -hmm. And so it is in their interest not to continue to shout about it. Mm -hmm. The reference to the drill ship that uh, was said to have been sold off at uh, 19.5 uh, 19 million, 
you know, dollars, you know, uh, also the issues uh, in regarding, is it a carry them that also came up, all of them huge, huge amounts of money have been involved. W why do you think at a certain point in time, the politician just, you know, went off. But you are not suggesting for a moment. <laughs> you are not suggesting for a moment that what happened relative to the dress shape showed that somebody was guilty. Well, exactly. Of That's what I was going to speak to. I, I was going to speak to that. We are only going to find out. Well, like Kuku said, we wait for the report. He has recommendations. There were difficulties with the explanations, or at least the initial explanations. I'm not sure. Oh, there was. We all everybody will do that. The very first instance. No, you knew that there was a problem. No, no. Please, I mean, are you talking of his radio? Absolutely, no, but we're talking yeah. here the commission and his proceedings. Even there, I think there that's where the focus is. But of yes, course, yes. Yeah. it's only fair. The commission's report well, and recommendations will not be based on radio. Well, yes, yes. We, we're going to hear the facts from the commission. But if we, if we go by what we heard on radio and the news media, uh, it is not very fair to even talk about the drill ship saga mm -hmm. because we found out where the money was. We we heard it really? before. Before we thought, well, yeah, yeah the MPP two did this, and, and then they found where the money was. Oh, with that, uh, yeah. It came down to three million, and then we found out it was deposited in the government's account. So there's no issue there. Well, we should not cloud the issue here. No government has been this corrupt in this country well, than this one. Oh, this is what I, needs I, to I be said. Rollins said it. Rollins. I reject. You will reject. Rollins, 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 Rollins said that. Rollins the said it. The most well, fine. I'm, I happen to be talking about this one. No, but you have no basis to make. I do have basis. Okay. You want me? So, you so want me? Let's speak directly to the judge. Yeah, exactly. Well, what we are talking about? Well, please. What we are called for? Well, let me. Well, let me. Let me explain to you then. Why How why is it possible? How is it possible? Of corruption under the MPP, just I'm so not MPP. So you can list it. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not MPP. My just, name is not just, MPP. I happen so. to but be to make, a Canadian. To make an accusation not based on facts. You finish. Let me finish. Let me it's give not you. Allowed. Let me give you the. Let me give you the facts. Okay, Doctor Mark. Let me give you the facts. Doctor Mark. Let's let's take this one. Always speak to the microphone. Let's And when you feel you are being heckled, don't don't turn and look at the person and speak to them. You see, they are talking as if. They are not my government. They are no, talking as. So. Let me finish what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Felix, Felix. Let me finish Felix. what I'm saying. Felix, allow him. Allow that. him. Allow what? him. Is it a debate? Allow him. Of course it is. It's a debate. Mm. Please. You guys are Look. reminding me of when the show was hosted from the radio studios long ago. Uh, if you're in, on you television, on television, <laughs> on television, what I'm beginning to see, you know, uh, you know radio, I don't see on radio. Right. <laughs> 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 okay, well, well, okay. Here, here's, 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 let me give you just one scenario. <laughs> How is it possible that we live in a country and one man without contract, Alfred Woyumi, <laughs> can collect 50 million, more than 50 million CDs, and the president of the country does not know about it. When President Mills was first asked about it, he said he didn't know anything about it. Then they asked again, more questions came. Then he said he told them not to pay. Which one is it? Didn't know or told them not to pay. So you don't even have the This is not in the report. This is right here in the news. It is in the draft report. This is in the news. You are live here too. You just said that we should not rely on news reports. Please. We should rely on evidence. I'm telling you the pre what the president said. said. The president never said so. Okay, it is documented. Okay, Felix, like, please, I can Felix. You want to take over and say everything? I want to take it over, but I'm speaking. Let me finish what I'm saying. You be done with you. You are very defensive, as if we don't live in the country. You are the only one who live here. Felix, Felix, allow him the time. This is in the papers, evidence everywhere, right? We live in the country together. President Mills, as he was asked, he said he didn't know about it. The journalist pestered him later. He said he told them not to pay. Then he said he told them not to pay twice. Which one is it? Something you this are the lawyer. Is, and this is not President Mills Which, who is saying. What you're saying. Well, Once again, what you're saying, portions of what you say mm -hmm. are contained in the interim report exactly. that was exactly. issued by Ioko. Okay. Right. Yes, exactly. On. I'll come back. Here is the crust of the matter. How is it possible that Mr. Alfred Wyomi alone can get this money? What are your expectations without collusion? As the commission finishes its work, what are your expectations of a court process? What are your expectations? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. As the commission wraps up, I'm hoping that he will shed more light on how that happened. Because it's clearly a case of conspiracy. One person without a contract, and then they don't go to court. Attorney General say pay. Somebody writes to say pay quickly. Then the president says, I, I don't know. What is going on here? 
You see, it's, it's kind of interesting that we talk about these things as if uh, uh, we don't live here. It doesn't matter, you know. I can give you instances and instances and instances about Abuga Pele being indicted. And Mr. Humado says he didn't look at it and he signed it. And this one is the one. It's going on too long, too much. This is not me talking. And so you can sit here and behave as if you just dropped from the moon and you don't know what is going on and on in this country. All right, uh, okay. You can claim that it's not bad. Right. That's right. the truth. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, gentlemen, gentlemen. Hold it. Now, um, Dr. Presser, the what we are looking at is because we do not have the commission's report, like Kukubako said, we are unable to interrogate what the findings have been. That's correct. So we are looking forward to. For yourself having observed what lessons you pick from it mm. and what are your expectations as we await its report well something uh i am tempted to make a few comments if you allow me on some of the uh, claims that uh, dr mwakumba had made because it's clearly um indicts a government that i work for and, and belong to it's my um, government um the claim that this is the most corrupt government in history it's rather unfortunate to be coming from no less a person than the head of department of a political science um, department in a very renowned university. He says he's quoting Jerry Rawlings. Well, since when since when has um, an opinion of let's say you know, a accused, person in this country become the basis for maybe a scientific claim? And so I would I would I would allow doctor. I will respectfully. Um, suggest to, I mean, obviously he's a senior colleague in the academic fraternity, that he should be minded and be guided in some of the comments he made. Over here, he's actually made comments that right here was read to him that showed that what he was actually, the basis upon which he was making the claim was fallacious, was wrong. And he was doing the same thing by bringing in Agbesi Wayome and so on and so forth. I think that we should be careful uh, how we go about oh this, this. This particular segment of the discussion was not necessarily based on the issue of why you may it was based on how have we observed the commission so far and i will say a number of things which really demonstrates that his uh, his claim is false the commission is the greatest demonstration and illustration of president john dramani mahama's commitment to fighting corruption in ghana we have had presidents in the past whose comments about corruption in their government in this country or in their administration in this country, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to repeat because it is past. Mm -hmm. We have a certain president who had made it his philosophy to ensure that every single act of corruption or perceived corruption, he will go after it and go after it to the roots. He had spoken about the need to carry out institutional reform and he has talked he has spoken about the fact that a lot of the issues that come up are a result of institutional lapses that the more we strengthen our institutional regimes the more likely we are to weaken the incentives that allow individuals to take advantage of the system to actually uh, 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 dupe the state you can't get it any better than this meshing any single issue and you see, there seems to be a particular conversation or narrative that, that oftentimes suggests that the president is presiding over corruption. What is not coming out strongly, and I think must come out strongly, is that the president is actually encouraging the exposure of these acts of, or perceived acts of corruption from JIDA all the way down to the National Service Scheme. If you care to know, the president had directly authorized some of those exposures and investigations. You can't get it better than that. And I think what the president deserves is commendation to strengthen his hands so as to be able to get his security apparatus to go after these incidents rather than saying because you have authorized the exposure of institutional institutional lapses and corrupt acts across this within the system and so by extension you are corrupt. What kind of fallacious analysis and argument is that? Samson, this country is only one and it is us who have to build it. We must take off the partisan lens, especially when we have platforms like this, and be more circumspect about the comments we made. I rest my case. Some of your comments here. This is coming from um, that's Isaac Do Do say. He says, if the workers don't trust the government, 
they should quit working for the government. <laughs> <laughs> they don't trust the government. <laughs> they don't trust the government with pensions, but trust them with their monthly pay, even though they are on strike. And then uh, um, Dave Begro says something I challenge Kwekubako to produce the 2012 pension report chaired by Henrietta Brew. Labor was fully involved in all the processes. This one says, please educate me and your listeners. When you save in a bank and you deposit cash, is the fiscal money put in a safe or vault like a post office box with your name on it? Then uh, <laughs> Rust Rubing says, if the president is willing to stop corruption in this country, then he must... Um, carry out the tough recommendations of the Judgment Debt Commission to eradicate misuse of state resources. Have the workers been giving their statements? Give them the statements and they will trust the government. That's another text message. Uh, the next one is on Bless Kampuri and we'll uh, look at that. We'll look at that uh, shortly.